All right, once again, we're into the final 60 seconds. Now, why don't we give another explanation of the ignition sequence? Yeah. The things to look out for, the yellow bars in the center of your screen, those are the feeder arms. They're going to have to pull back. That's at minus five seconds. Retracted in order to get clearance for liftoff, okay? Then we ignite the main engine. The main engine. And, and then what? H minus one seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. And all during seven seconds, the computer is screening the main engine parameters in order to verify that the engine is well functioning. And if it functions, it gives the order to light then the boosters. Then you give the order to the booster and then lift off. Okay, folks, 10 seconds. Approaching. And we'll be back okay. after Arian has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Un top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage EAP, décollage. And up into the clouds, the DDO saying that everything is normal on board. Some fine shots, Ariane rising into the night sky over French Guiana, going through through the clouds, illuminating the forests and the beaches and the many observation uh, sites. Ariane now on her way, we are underway, with the double payload for UTELSAT to cross the Atlantic in less than a quarter of an hour. So I would like to say each lounge here is very, very impressive. I will say it for me is a, compared to f even the first lounge, which I have seen. And now we have, we have here in the Jupiter building the tremendous sound, tremendous and impressive sound of the lounge vehicle. Coming from f 14 kilometers away. Yes, absolutely. I would like to recall lift, ma lift off mass about 700 780 tons, tons 780 compared to two Boeing 747 it's aircraft it's fully loaded. It's tremendous. The thrust about 1,300 tons. The DDO is calling out uh, all is normal on board. 780 tons, which Ariane will rapidly start to shed, and she still is uh, shedding at about two tons of fuel every second. And we see on the screen, on the left hand, you see the curve, the trajectory, and you see the increase of the velocity. Yeah? So I tell me under we under propulsion phase of the main cryogenic engine with the with the booster. The core stage and the booster's yeah. burning now. The booster's set yeah. to Le flame out. DDO says everything is fine. The yeah. boosters are going to burn out in about uh, 10 seconds. You'll be able to see that on the screen. You'll see the two flame Maybe outs. Maybe we'll see it because the vessel condition seems very, very clear. Looks like it's right there. There you are. Those are the boosters, and you'll see them. Follow, and the DDO is just called Unknown out separation. The separation. This is the camera that that we were speaking mm -hmm. about. There's that's not on board tonight yeah. from the previous yeah, flight. There are two yeah. boosters. One is on the other side yeah. uh, of the camera range. They fall into the Atlantic. Yes, they fall down to the Atlantic, and I would like to recall. For fine, fine shot there. You, you very clear the, image. The, the white light is the main engine, which yes. is still burning, and the two boosters on the either side falling away. Absolutely. Absolutely. The DDO announced all is going well. So now we're into the second of the powered flight phases. The first one, the boosters, have done their job. The EPC, the core stage, continues to burn for another eight minutes or so, roughly, holding 175 tons of cryogenic fuel, the same sort of fuels in the upper stage, yeah. and we'll be coming back to that. Each booster, by the way, burned up 240 tons. And uh, the DDO fairing has just been called out the fairing. This is what that looks like, and there's only, yes. there, you can just see one half. There's another half on the other uh, side, which you can't see. That's another 2.5 tons that we don't need now. We are losing now in order to, to increase the speed. Everything's still normal on board, says the D DDO. Maybe some words <coughs> about the EPC, yeah? Yeah, the EPC, the EPC is what? It's a, it's a big aluminum tank with, with an engine It's a very on big it. uh, tank with a thrust frame on the lower side and the upper side uh, uh, interface um, uh, cylinder. 
The propulsion duration is about 537 seconds, and the thrust that, that's delivered. That's about 10 minutes. Nine, yeah, nine, 10, 10 minutes. minutes right? And the thrust delivered from the Vulcan 2 engine is 139 tons. Okay, we will be back with more on, on uh, other Ariane space flight last of the year, but some more news now from Ariane space. We'll be back.